once I have the system put in place, five minutes later, I could query my logs and see what was happening. TF1 is the biggest French private broadcaster, has five free to wear TV channels, a replay catalog available on all devices, 24 7 news channel, and a digital 24 7 news service called TF1 Info. Until last year, we had our only internal CDN plus two very different CDN in terms of feature. And we wanted to have the same logging system for all our CDNs. Previously, our CDNs were logging in different places. Some were putting raw files on S3, some on other, in other places. We had no easy way to browse the log files. We had to manually decompress them and search in it. And it was a pain to monitor, to control, and to configure. They helped us a lot to put in place the POC, to set up the configuration for all our CDNs, to get all the logs. So it's very easy to, to browse them, to query them. And then it's only a matter of sizing your instances to be able to handle queries every five seconds or every five days. So you can really adjust what it costs you based on your usage. It's really a visibility matter. It's, I know what's happening in the system. The video streaming ecosystem is pretty big. I have a number of CDN vendors, but I have also peering capacity, transit. Then I have also the ISP networks that is involved. So the better visibility I have, the simpler it is to pinpoint the root cause of an issue. I cannot put hard numbers on savings because it's a matter of comparing no solution to a solution. Uh, the total cost of ownership of the hydraulic solution is cheaper than what it used to cost me to store the logs. So to have cost-effective tool that enables to centralize all the logs and browse them will be necessary in, in our industry. Is hydraulic the answer? Been using it for a couple of months, it seems to do the job. <laughs>